Hello guys and welcome to a new video. In this video we are going to take a short look at the Arch Linux AUR, the Arch User Repository. So first of all, what is the AUR? I have the site up here. The AUR is basically a large collection of package builds. Package builds are recipes to build packages maintained by users. So you can get a lot of optional software over the AUR or simply software that's not in the main repositories. And the package builds make that possible. They're basically like recipes to build a package. If you're coming from the FreeBSD world, it's similar to a port. A port also specifies how a package is built and the AUR and package builds do the same. So first of all, we want to install a AUR wrapper. A AUR wrapper is a helper program which makes it possible to install packages automated from the AUR and also keep them updated. You can of course also search the AUR. So I have my Arch Linux virtual machine here. There's no AUR wrapper currently installed and I'm SSH'd into the machine. The first thing we're going to do is we need to clone the yay.git repository. Yay is a AUR helper. It's my personal favorite. There's others. You can look, look it up in the Arch Linux wiki, but I for one use yay. So first of all, what we want to do, we want to clone the repository from the AUR, yay.git. Let's clone it. Let's change into it. And we can see we have a package build here. This is the recipe to build the package in the end. And you can see the build steps and the package steps. Also the hash sums and the version, the package name, everything you need to know or desire to know. I will link something down in the description box about the package fields. So next thing what we're going to do, we need to make sure we have sudo installed and also base devel. Base devel is a meta package which holds packages like GCC for building software. So make sure both are installed on my end. They are both installed already. And now let's, since we already changed into the directory, we can do a make pkg minus si to build the package and also install all the needed dependencies. Yay itself has a dependency on Go, the Go programming language. So I will install that package quickly. And after that is done, make pkg will build the package for us. You can see here, the building process has already begun. It'll take a couple of seconds, it's not too long. And after that, a binary package will be created for us to install. So here's the package, okay, we install yay. And now since we installed it, we can change directories again. We don't need the yay directory anymore, you can delete it if you like. And now we have access to yay. And if we simply do a SS like on Pac-Man, we can do a search and let's search for Brave. And we can see we have Brave bin here. So this is a AUR package we will install right now. To do that, we do a, a yay dash minus s brave.bin. And it will ask you about fonts or dependencies you want to install. In my case, I will just enter on this since I don't have any specific needs right now. And as you can see, it starts to download the sources. And after it downloads the sources, it will unpack, process the make step and make a binary package. So we will just wait for a second. And as you can tell, there's a lot of dependencies on my end. So I will pause the video and I will come back shortly. And the package is successfully installed. As you can see here, you can follow along with the process. It checks the dependencies, build time dependencies, unpacks the source, gets everything ready and packages, packages it all up into a binary package. So Brave is now installed. As you can tell, I can actually autocomplete Brave. I can start it right now since this system does not have X11 or Wayland, so we can't run X programs. It was just a small little example on how to use Yay. If you want to update your packages, the switches are identical to Pac-Man switches. There's certainly some extras. You can look at the manual page. There is a 
very nice description of all the options available to you and well basically the most well a typical use case would be you use yay minus dash ss search for a package for example we can search for fortune you pick out what you want you can also see the repository is named aur aur slash package name you select the package you want for example if you want fortune mod matrix you can paste that and do a yes and install the package yay itself takes care of all the building you can look at the package build and it covers basically all the needs to use the aur successfully so this was just a short little video and I hope you liked it and I hope the AOR makes sense to you right now. Thank you and have a good time.